If you open up a costume or backdrop in Scratch and see the convert to bitmap button at the bottom of the screen, you know you're working with a vector image. Vector images are layers of shapes or curves that can be manipulated to create unique images that look clear at any size. But some of these tools can be confusing at first. The select tool allows you to select one or more parts of an image and move them around by grabbing the arrows at the bottom of the highlighted box and rotating the layers. If you hold shift while rotating, the image will snap to 45 degree turns. If you grab the corner or the edges of a box, you can resize to make parts of a vector smaller or larger. Hold shift when dragging to turn off maintaining the aspect ratio. The reshape tool allows you to add, remove, or move points of your image to change the shape of different parts of the image. You can even change the edges to curved or pointed. If you want to change multiple points at the same time, just hold shift to select multiple points. The brush tool allows you to draw new shapes like you would with a brush or pencil, and you can change the size of the brush to smaller or larger at the top of the screen. After using the brush tool, you can change what you drew using other tools like the reshape tool. The eraser tool allows you to erase different parts of the vector. Like the brush tool, you can change the size of the eraser and even zoom in or out with magnifiers at the bottom corner of the screen to make it easier to erase something. The fill tool allows you to change the color of different parts of your image. Simply select a color and click on the image and change from one color to another in each shape or outline used to create an image. If you want to make something invisible, just click on the red slash and then click on your image. You can also use the gradient options to blend two different colors of an image using one of the three gradients at the top of the color picker. The text tool allows you to add in text by clicking, typing, then dragging and resizing as needed. You can even highlight your text and change the font at the top of the screen or fix spelling errors by using the select tool and retyping. You can draw straight lines with the line tool by clicking and dragging. If you want to make the line perfectly vertical, horizontal, or at a 45 degree angle, hold shift while dragging to snap the line to the desired orientation. You can change the size and color of the line at the top or use the fill tool to change the color and the reshape tool to add curves to your line. The circle tool allows you to draw ovals and circles that are filled in or have a thick or thin outline that you can change at the top of the screen. If you want a perfect circle, hold shift when drawing the circle. And hold the alt or option key to draw a circle with the center of the circle where you first click. You can even press and hold both shift and alt at the same time to make a perfect circle where you first click and drag. The rectangle tool is very similar to the circle tool in that you can drag rectangles by clicking and dragging, create perfect squares by holding shift, or create a rectangle with the center of it where you click by holding Alt or Option. Once you finish drawing any of your shapes, you can use other tools like the reshape and fill tools to change the way the shapes look. The arrows at the top of the screen allow you to undo and redo changes, or even group and ungroup different layers of your vector image. Grouping is useful if you want to make changes to multiple parts of an image, such as resizing the head of the cat, but not the body. And ungrouping is useful if you want to move one part of an image, but not the entire group. The layer tool allows you to move parts of a vector in front of or behind other layers. The flipping tools are useful for flipping the vertical and horizontal orientation of different groups. You can even copy and paste or delete by selecting a layer and using the buttons at the top. Note that if you convert a bitmap image into a vector, it gives you the tools of a vector image. However, it likely won't give you all of the layers and groups you would have if the image started as a vector image. So it's best to start with the vector image to use all of the vector tools. If you want to learn more about bitmap tools or even more scratch tips, check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.